Hello, this is the Steinway Model K upright piano made in 1904. I'm not quite sure what the veneer is. If you're an expert at Woods, then please help, or if you know better than I do. I've called it Walnut, and uh, I think when it's like this, they call it Quartered. But if you'd like to comment on that, that'd be really helpful. Thank you. Uh, the ivory keys are in extremely good condition. There's one or two in the centre that have come off and been put back on. We'll try and improve those lines there. There's an assessment of what we might be able to do to improve the piano. That chip, I'm pretty certain we can disguise very well. Um, let's have a look at the rest of the case. I think, generally speaking, it's extremely good condition. Um, we can liven up the polish, certainly. I think we can probably just make it that little bit better. That's what we're always trying to do to all the pianos that come in. The top of the piano, just very beautiful. And integral colour as well. So that's very encouraging. I'm very grateful to get this piano in. It's a very good age for Steinway and um, th these legs look very pretty as well. There's a bottom panel integrated with the rest colour-wise and um, this is unusual for a Steinway to be this colour. Most Steinways of this age are rosewood. The action's in extremely good condition. Has been used a reasonable amount. It's one owner from new. Um, I'm pretty much assured of that so it's been in the family all the time but if you look at the hammers hammer wear that's what we're looking at here see how much uh, indentation there is not really much compared to the age of the piano um, needs a little bit of refacing a little bit of voicing the dampers are also moving very very well um, I won't go through too many details now because I've got the worksheet which I'll show you now and um, by the way another important check the tuning pins are tight and none of them have been knocked in Steinway uh, rest planks are extremely good, so normally you don't get a problem with that. And you can see they're standing out. If there's a problem with these, then you often see the coil is much nearer to the frame. That's uh, nothing like that, so it's got a very clean bill of health. So before we listen to the piano and compare it with others, um, here's the worksheet. Uh, it shows the things that we've had to do and uh, we will have to do, sorry, on the assessment of it. And I think most remarkable for me is that the, there's a lot of variety in the touch. So for instance, middle C, which is note 40, if you can see it there. And if we look at that, it's got 44 grams. You've got to put the right hand pedal down when you measure this. Um, that's 44 grams weights and it goes down. And yet the F sharp just above it, that's note 46. Uh, that's six that's more than 65 grams and it's only just managing to go down so there's a huge discrepancy there now the good news is that as with uh, steinways generally are very good with up weight very low up weight so on this one it's about correct at 49 the 17 grams up weight we'll probably increase it to about 51 here and uh, then it'll be 18 or 19 up weight this is the up weight measured here so that's 17 grams on it at the moment and it goes up. I was just lifting my foot off the pedal a bit there. To show that it more or less goes up at that weight. So that's um, a little bit on the light side, but when we make the touch slightly heavier on that key, it'll be up to 18 and 19 and probably, and that's acceptable, I think. So as a brief comparison of the tone uh, in the mid treble to start with. It's a new for it one, two, two. And a Yamaha U3 1972. <laughs> So that's a Steinway Model K, made in 1904, upright piano, and one of the very best pianos that you can get for uprights. The main problem is the touch that needs refining a lot, and that's often the case with older pianos, so folks buy modern pianos for that reason, but the touch on this is 
superb. The up weight is very low. We mentioned this before, how that makes it feel beautiful to play. Don't, you don't feel it's resisting you when you press your key, your fingers down. But there's a great unevenness though. And so that needs uh, addressing and various other things that we showed on the worksheet. Very mellow sounding, a little bit too mellow in the top treble at the moment, so you'll be addressing that just to even out the tone. Has a huge dynamic range. And a very rich, wonderful bass tone. If you're interested in trying the piano out, then uh, that's fine, you can do that. We have a scheme for that, where we rent it out for 10 months and you can pay the difference after 10 months. Although if you do decide you'd like to buy the piano, then obviously we try and uh, encourage that and so give a bit of financial incentive to do that. Found a piano I could play all day long and uh, very, very grateful to get it in. So I hope that's been helpful. Thank you very much for listening. Please do write info at robertspianos.com if you're interested and um, to talk to us about it. If you'd like to do a video, um, you could video call us uh, while we're in front of it as well. That's a possibility.